This is an overview of this week's top stories expected to keep making headlines in the days to come. Turkey was left waiting at the threshold of Europe once again. The controversy around the progress report of Turkey was very much in the lobbies of the European Parliament during its last session that the institution decided to postpone the country's evaluation for a month so as to bridge the deep gaps between the Copenhagen criteria and Turkish, let's say, achievements. Too many amendments and too little time. Will a month be enough or will June be the first time a progress report is rejected? President Anastasiadis and Turkish Cypriot leader Mustafa Kinji are set to meet socially on Saturday. The two are expected to enjoy Cypriot coffee in the old town of Nicosia in a multi-leveled symbolic act. Their next meeting will be formal on the negotiating table on Thursday, May 28th. In the meantime, the negotiators of both sides will hold meetings in order to classify agreed-upon confidence-building measures in the low politics category. Leading up to the Friday's meeting, President Anastasiadis held meetings with the President of the European Commission, Jean-Claude Juncker, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, the Prime Minister of Portugal and the President of the European Council. It's developing into a never-ending story. We're referring, of course, to the civil war within the Republic's legal service. The Attorney General has filed criminal charges with the District Court of Nicosia against the Assistant Attorney General, Rikos Erotokridou. Charges are accompanied by the request to have him indicted by the court on May 26th. Deputy Attorney General Rikos Erotokridou fired back at the indictment, denying any involvement with the criminal charges. Everything will be responded to in an appropriate manner on my behalf at the appropriate time, he said. Cyprus has signed the International Energy Charter. According to an official announcement, the ambassador of Cyprus to the Netherlands, Kyriakos Kouros, signed the International Energy Charter on behalf of the Republic of Cyprus during a ministerial conference on May 20th in The Hague. The charter has been adopted by 73 countries from various regions and by the European Commission. ISIS has been gaining dangerously ground in Syria. Militants of the organization have reportedly seized the last Syrian government-controlled border crossing between Syria and Iraq. ISIS has now under its control 50% of Syria's entire territory. ISIS has also consolidated its grip on the Libyan city of Sid, hometown of former leader Muammar Gaddafi. The White House said the seizure of the Syrian city of Palmyra was a setback for US-led coalition forces in their fight against Islamic State, adding that fighting the militants will be a difficult challenge. Thank you for watching.